approaching 30 seconds. So unless there's a burning question, we're going to move on to the next one. No one I can see? Okay, thanks very much, Aldo. And we'll move straight on to the next, which is Pauline. And Pauline is going to talk to us about ocular signs and symptoms in orthokeratology patients associated with the use of popadone iodine-based disinfecting solution. Thank you. Good afternoon. Oh, good morning. Sorry. I'm in Hong Kong time. Um, so for many years, I think, uh, if you are in the field for a long time, you will note that uh, with the decline use of uh, uh, RGB lenses, there has not been much advancement in the um, fabrication of uh, new, well, newer RGB material uh, so solutions. But since the, with the introduction of ortho K and the scroll lens, with this uh, uh, increasing popularity of these lenses, now I think we are looking at, uh, I think we are going to look at more and more new uh, formulation actually of uh, RGB solutions. So today I'm going to talk about the use of povidone iodine based uh, RGB solution. These are my disclosures, and uh, this study was uh, supported by a collaborative research agreement between the Hong Kong Polytechnic University and Optex Japan. The purpose of this study was to look at, uh, this is part of a, a, a series of studies, and this one is to look at the frequency and severity of ocular signs and symptoms uh, in ortho care patients who are using this uh, povidone iodine based um, solu RGP solution. So we have, uh, we recruited 80 ortho care subjects and uh, all of them use uh, the povidone iodine based uh, disinfecting solutions. And as um, usual, we look at uh, ocular signs with a lamp, and then we also have a standard uh, questionnaire to collect uh, 